Today I'm doing this BB-8 look from Star Wars and it's part of a collaboration with a bunch of really amazing artists. Their links are down below to their videos so make sure to check them out as well. To start off, take Krivlin Creamy White and mix a little bit of grain with it and put that all over your forehead, eyelids, and then down on the bottom corner of your eyes. Make sure that it has a nice rounded dome shape. For the eyeshadow, I took matte white shadow and put it on my brow bones and inner corner of my eyes, and yellow on the upper part of my crease, and then orange along the bottom of my crease. Then I put blue on my lid, and black on the outer corners of my eyes, and blended that out nicely. And don't forget to put black on the bottom eyelashes as well. Using Krivlin Creamy White and a sponge, add highlights to the sides of your head, Paint a black circle in the middle of your forehead. In the original design, the little circle would have been down in my eyebrow. That doesn't work, so accommodate for the face by putting it over on your temple instead. Below the big circle, draw a little circle with another larger circle going around it and fill in your black. Using Krivlin Red, fill in the empty space that we left and make sure to blend it with the black. You could do this by pouncing it with your finger. Using my Krivlin Split Cake Bat Eye, I mixed together some of the grays on there to get the nice dark color that I wanted. And split cakes are a really easy way to take a bunch of colors and mix them together to get all sorts of different shades in one easy pot. Next, apply Krivlin Silver with a flat brush in a curved motion along your forehead. Using a flat brush for this is great because it does all the work for you by keeping the width nice and even. I continued using the flat brush to apply all of the orange shapes around the face. They're all the same width, so it's a great way to keep it all pretty symmetrical. And I also added those orange little shapes along my cheekbones. Just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can take away and add design elements as you see fit. Add a silver stripe at the bottom to help tie the look together. BB-8 is pretty beat up and dirty, so to help replicate the look of dirt, just pounce a sponge onto your skin until it's nice and dry, and then go around your design and wherever you see fit, just put little patches of dirt here and there. After that, you're gonna wanna take your white and go over your highlights again so they overlap your orange. That'll help give it more dimension and give it a more dome-like appearance. And don't forget to add highlights to your gray circles as well. Using the dark gray color, it's time to add some lines to the silver pieces of the painting. And they don't have to be perfect because we're gonna shade around them in a second using black powder. So using the powder and a stubby round brush, just shade along the edges and in the corners of each section to help define them and separate them and give them more dimension. Just make sure that the bulk of the powder is along the edges and corners and then you fade it out towards the outer edges. Also outline all of the individual segments with that gray color as well. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, doing this on myself was not easy. Perfect circles and straight lines on your own face is incredibly difficult and because of that I have some wobbly line work, but hey. You get the concept and I tried my best on myself. So I used a liner brush to do this part and that made it a lot easier, but don't stress too much on the placement of your lines. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. You can put them wherever they look good. You don't have to follow the pictures or illustrations exactly. Just put them where they're aesthetically pleasing, where you think they'll make sense. I placed them in places where the actual character doesn't even have them. Like right here, he didn't have that right there, but that space was empty, so I just added it. Use Krivlin Regular White for the bright pops of highlight, and then Regular Teal for the two lines on the cheekbone, and that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, as well as all of the products I used in this video. And also, don't forget to check out all of the other artists who are involved in this collaboration. They're all amazingly talented, and I was so happy to be a part of this.